Oh, um, we do go first. Yeah, go for it. Go <laughs> okay, for it. so I was I was working the 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 six o'clock newscast, uh-huh. and uh, I was going through Facebook. Don't use your phone while you're at work, guys. <laughs> and and I see, I think it was Edna who posted, "Hey, was it Edna? It was Edna. That's the Ed- first place I saw it. Yeah, yeah Edna." <laughs> <laughs> I see uh, white and gold. Ramsey's blue and black. What the fuck, guys? And I'm like, and I look at it. I'm like, that's white and gold. Right. What clearly. Going- it's clearly white and gold. I click on the picture and I'm, and I'm like, do people see it in other colors? Because, of course, you don't see through other people's eyes. Right. right. So I turn to the producer. I'm like, hey, Rick, uh, what color is this dress? He's like, what? I'm like, what color is the dress? <laughs> He's like, it's black and blue. Why? <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> And I'm like, I don't see black and blue. I see it as white and gold. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> so I turn to the editor, uh-huh. Jessica, and she's pretty hip with all the internet and stuff. So I, and I'm like, hey, uh, what color is this dress? She's like, she looks at it. And she's like, yeah, it's blue, blue and black. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Rod is there. Rod Sanders, plug Rod Sanders. Um, and I say, hand the phone to Rod. And then I said, Rod, if you fuck with me. <laughs> I'm going to be pissed. Just uh-huh. don't fuck with me. Look at the picture and tell me what color you think the dress is. Mm-hmm. And then he looks at it and then he says, uh, yeah, it's it's black and blue. And at this moment, I'm like, the fucking world is against me. <laughs> They're trolling me. It's this. I think this, it's a mass Conspiracy. trolling yes. against people who aren't air quotes in the no <laughs> and i was like i fucking hate everyone in this room right now <laughs> so the newscast has just finished i'm walking through the studio and uh one of the camera uh operators like hey mark you look like you're on a mission i was like not now orly <laughs> and then letty's like oh mark what's going on and i'm like letty and i show her the picture i'm like what color is this dress she says blue and black as of right now, I'm the only person that has confirmly seen it as white and gold aside from Edna. My sister saw it. I saw gold. white and gold. I told you. Yeah. No, but to me, oh, okay. I, I assumed. Oh, at that point. At that point, gotcha. I was like, no one in the world has seen it as white and gold. Mm-hmm. So I'm, and she's like blue and black. And I'm like, I see it as white and gold. She's like, no, Marky, <laughs> that's blue and black. Wow. And I'm like, I, I can, I see that, Letty. I, I can understand <laughs> That you see it as blue and black. I'm like, let the... I can, okay, you are seeing it as blue and black. I, I'm sorry. Excuse me. And then I leave. Because <laughs> I'm getting heated. You were really getting hot I'm about getting it. I'm getting heated. So I go to CK. I'm like, CK, what color <laughs> do you see uh-huh. this dress? And he looks at it and he's like, it's blue and black. I was like, CK, are you <laughs> fucking with me right now? And... <laughs> And he's like, no. And I'm like, oh, my God, CK. Because I see it as white and gold. And Jess comes in and she's like, yeah, his eyes are broken. <laughs> his and- eyes are oh broken. And Wow. So I leave and I go into the, the newsroom and I, and I see uh, two other producers. And I say, what color do you see? Angie sees blue and black. Adrian sees white and gold. And I'm like, finally, someone else. Mm-hmm. And also at this point, I've already realized – that it's not a mass trolling because if Letty is in the know <laughs> before I'm in long. the know, that I'm pissed. No, I knew in the studio. I was like, there's no way Letty is cooler on the internet than I am. And at, at what point did you realize that you just took up about an hour of your day <laughs> with this? Oh, I took up so much time. <laughs> oh, my God. But Letty, uh-huh. she was like, are you colorblind, Marky? And she was genuinely concerned about me. <laughs> and she's like, Marky, it's, it's blue and black. <laughs> And I'm like, Letty, I know you see it as blue and black, but I see it as white and gold. And she's like, but Marky, it's not. <laughs> it's not white and gold. I'm like, Letty, I understand that. And she's sitting next to like three purses. Uh-huh. And they're, they're lined up one, two, and three. She's like right in front of three. And I'm like, look, I know colors. That purse right there is blue. And she turns around. Instead of seeing three, which is what I was pointing at, she looks at two, <laughs> which is a tan leather bag. And she's like, Marky, that's not blue. <laughs> and I'm like, not that one, the other one. So she points to the other one. She's like, Marky, that's black. I'm like, Letty, the one right behind you. And she's like, that's not. Oh, actually, you know what? It is blue. Uh, wow. So it was a big fucking deal. That was a big deal. That, that... Dang, dude. So should we start the show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I thought it started 20 minutes ago. And now.
It's the Still Unnamed Podcast. With your hosts, Pete and Mark. Hey kids and welcome to another exciting edition of the Still Unnamed Podcast. I'm Pete Salas along with... Mark Nightmare Slayer Rodriguez. <laughs> Nightmare Slayer. Yeah. Okay, you're going dark on this one. Uh, I had a bad dream last night. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, and we're also joined with a with a third uh, a third wheel here a third uh, microphone. His name is Rock and Ruben Rockatansky. <laughs> Woo! Ruben Rockatansky. I thought your name was Chopper. My notes are wrong. I'm no sorry. shit. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, Chopper. That is my last name, but mm-hmm. it was interesting because when I was in, I think when I, maybe a freshman or sophomore in college, mm-hmm. that song Choppa Style came out. Choppa Style? I don't know, but a lot of people were coming up to me like, hey Choppa, I heard your song. I was like, Choppa Style? I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but it is pretty cool because sometimes I do hear people say Choppa, like as in get to the Choppa. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like that. I think I'm going like, okay. like, to okay, change that. I'm going to change that in my phone. So That's I think, I'm thinking about, I saw the shirt on Amazon where yeah. it's a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Predator which says get to the chop. <laughs> so I was like I think I may get that. Cool, cool. Well, Ruben is uh it's, a, it's he's a new friend to the show. Um I met him what? A month ago? Yeah, I believe so, a month ago. Okay, I went to a party and uh he is neighbors with my friend who was throwing the party. So I met him that night and uh, we just hit it off. He is a super comic fan. He's a super pop culture fan. He's wearing a shirt that says fanboy it's on it. It's a badass shirt. It is pretty cool. Who do I see there? I see Batman, Metroid, uh, Goku. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who that uh, is. Assassin's Creed. It's Assassin, it's oh, okay. Assassin's Creed or one of the Assassin's There's Optimus Prime, uh, Iron Man, Link, Link, Cloud, Charizard. What wow, is that? That is from Doctor Who. It is. It is uh, a Dalek. A Dalek, there we go. Or a Dalek? Dalek. Wow. Dalek. And that's uh, the Master Chief. Master Chief. Uh, is that R2-D2? That's R2 underneath there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that <laughs> is a geeky shirt, dude. Yeah, I'm super it. jelly. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> oh, you, don't forget... Uh, Tell the tell the audience what I what type of bed I sleep on. Oh, that's right. I was going to get to that eventually, <laughs> but um, yeah, you may know him or may know his bed from uh, Reddit, the front page of Reddit. That's that's the front page of the internet. As yeah, we <laughs> so he got on the front page of the front page of the internet. That's right. When Pete told me, "Hey, we're going to have this guy Ruben around," I was like, "I don't know who this guy is. I hate him already. Why are you trying to replace me?" <laughs> right. But then. Uh, <laughs> He was like, he's got a Batman bed. I was like, okay, you know what? He's pretty cool. Right. Well, and what, I've been a lurker for the, I've been on Reddit for two years. I've just been doing nothing but lurking. So whatever <laughs> credit card, credit gold, <laughs> I, I don't even have. I just, I, my friend wanted to post it online just to maybe start selling stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And then four in the morning, I have 30 text messages and five missed calls from her telling me to get on the internet, and sure right. enough, that thing just exploded. Right, wow. and uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, you'll, you're actually looking at the picture right now. I, I've seen it. Like, when I when I saw it, I was like, I've seen this bed. It's badass. Right. Yeah. Batman, the Batman Dark Knight bed. I've, it's that, got an awesome glow. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah, it, that's, it I, is I, really I sleep cool. on that. And <laughs> <laughs> every night. And it was crazy because I thought I was going to get so much slack from it for it but it's actually the comments have been from what i've read they've actually been pretty cool oh yeah they are didn't the some... internet is full of nerds <laughs> <laughs> especially uh, uh nerd chicks that are gladly ban you on that, on oh, that yeah. oh my god the responses i get I'm like wow <laughs> i was like hey this is my username <laughs> <laughs> take a ticket ladies wow <laughs> no that's that's uh that's pretty cool i mean we 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 met that night and we shot the shit a little bit we played some video games and stuff and it was just like a a match made in nerd heaven absolutely and uh I said, then I mentioned the podcast, and then you said, no, I didn't even mention the podcast. I'm not that vain. <laughs> no. <laughs> someone, someone mentioned it for me. It was Mark. It, it was, was Mark. two weeks ago. Yeah. His birthday party. We were just there. Not me. Out. No, the other one. <laughs> no. no. We were just mean. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. And but, but you're already bad. I've known you were badass since before I met you because you named your daughter Harley Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. That fool, man, I get brownie points for that. I yep. Mean, come on, man. Forever nerd you're, points. You're, 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 your wife is lucky to have you. <laughs> I'm she, lucky to have her. Well, she she thought of it. She oh, pitched it to me. Shit, even better. <laughs> she was, we were, we were throwing names around back and forth, and, right. and she was like, well, what about Harley Quinn? I'm like, are you serious right now? Because that's totally awesome. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like... Okay, so we have like a couple of names in, in our pocket for when she's born. She's born, mm-hmm. and then we're like, we should, 
we have to call her Harley Quinn. She's she's Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. And then it's oh, it's awesome. That's Everyone's, gonna be her Halloween costume every year for the rest of her life. <laughs> it was her first one. It was her first one. Okay. She looked adorable. Yeah, awesome. Let's see if we can dig up a picture. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, then two weeks ago, it was Mark's birthday, mm-hmm. the other Mark, as we stated, and uh, that's where we we saw each other again, and, and that's where the, the idea of the podcast came up. We were talking about it. You said you're a fan of podcasts in general, yeah. and that you've always wanted to do one and stuff, and I told you how easy it is, and then you started to listen to them that night, and then super here we, fan. <laughs> here we are. There we go. Yeah. I like it. It's I like it very much. The main One of the main reasons I wanted to bring you on, let's just get that out of the way, um, you lost an incredible amount of weight. Uh, over over 200 pounds. Over 200 pounds. That's like two Japanese women. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I, your scale of, of weight is so strange. Yeah. I, instead of one, <laughs> instead of a ton or four stone. Yeah. Like, right. well, how many yeah. is that in Japanese women? That's right. my. That's about two. My scale. <laughs> about two Japanese two women. Japanese women. Yeah, yeah, no, that that was that was the thing is is the first time I met you, you had just had surgery to yeah. to get rid of uh, of excess skin. Yeah. And let me just stay let me put this out there at the beginning. You lost those 200 pounds the hard way. Yeah. The, the old-fashioned get off your ass put down the fork way. Absolutely. So real quick, I'm sorry. Yeah. What was the heaviest you were at my heaviest? I want to say maybe 385. Okay. Wow. Pushing four. Got Pushing it. Pushing four. I, I think I was probably a triple meat water burger combo <laughs> with triple cheese and bacon away. Away. Right. From, from reaching that From reaching the 400 oh, mark. Yeah. Right. And how long did it take you? I started in, let's see, the f- August of 08 okay. or 07. And I know it was around August or September because December of that year I had lost eighty pounds and already people had already could tell it could right. see a difference. Well eighty pounds is right. Like eighty yeah. percent of a <laughs> Japanese woman that's noticeable. Yeah, so I mean you look at the pictures, it doesn't seem like it, but I had you lose eighty pounds and man, I was going through cl- clothes like crazy, but from the time that I started up until maybe by the time that I was actually okay, I'm not gonna lose any more weight. Mm-hmm. It probably took about a year. A year. And I know some people are thinking, well, that's that's crazy, that's too short, but when you consumed as much as I did on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, and then all of a mm-hmm. sudden you just cut that off, just like that, I mean, your body's going to go into shock. Right. At least that's what I was told. The body went into shock. Uh-huh. So... It started eating itself, it, basically. Yeah, it okay. did. And so <clears throat> it started with me waking up at 4.30 in the mornings. Okay. Uh, it would... I started out doing two miles. Okay. That would take me 45 minutes. Now 45 minutes is like right. five, six miles now. Wow. My so, God, dude. How do you have that kind of discipline, especially being as big as you were? Like, what, what was the, the tipping point that made you say, yeah. you know what, now is the time? I don't know. I think that, well, I know it was a lot of it had to do with my parents. I mean, they were... I, both sides of my both sides of my family have you know it's a lot to do with genes. And, yeah, you know, of course. Of course. With, with us Hispanics, I mean, hey, we'll eat just about anything. Uh-huh. If it's fried or greasy, hey, right, we'll eat it. Down it, absolutely. So it was just one of those things where growing up as a kid, you always heard stories like, oh, well, so and so went to college, they lost they lost so much weight, or so and so went to college, they gained so much weight. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think I was both of those people. <laughs> I gained more when I went when I went to college. I went into college at two seventy five. Oh shit! Yeah, wow. I was. I, yeah, I was. Uh, so that was like a hundred pound gain just in college. Just in college, yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me ask you guys this real quick. What? I, it's the freshman fifteen. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> overachiever. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow, I've never been called an overachiever. Before. That's awesome. Um, what do you all consider when you guys go to a fast food place? What's a meal for you guys? For me right now? Yeah. Um, I'll, 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 I'm just a regular combo, but I will do like the double meat once in a while. Like Whataburger, let's just say I'll do the double meat, double cheese. And uh, I don't large the fries because I don't really like French fries, okay. but I will upsize the drink because I, I like to have a big. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, right. usually I'm a, a number one guy. Wh- whatever the place, usually I'm a good for a number one. Like, 
patty and cheese from Whataburger or a Whopper or a Big Mac. I'm a number one guy because I'm the number one guy. There you go. <laughs> number one stunner. <laughs> what? And, what? What? And you, guys, <laughs> and you guys are happy with that. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, like, you guys are full oh, with that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. For the most part. More times than any, like, if I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling super hungry today. I'm going to get that extra or I'm going to supersize it. And when I do, I'm like, oh, my fucking yeah, ate too much. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. You know the one place that I do, like, go over and above is at Chick-fil-A. Uh, yeah. I, I, like, I'll have the chicken sandwich and then I'll add a 12-piece nugget on top of that. Uh, because I'm a gluttonous on a side bastard. Note, I, on a side note, I never really understood what the big deal is about Chick-fil-A. <gasps> I think it's delicious, Uh-oh. personally. But <laughs> I, so I, I what, just, I just. What was your uh, fast food combo? You guys aren't going to believe this. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, okay, I'd go to Whataburger. Mm-hmm. One get... small Japanese woman, please. <laughs> <laughs> Super sized. It was the triple meat Whataburger combo. Uh-huh. Combo. I'll say that again with triple cheese and bacon. Water sized. Okay. Wow. That's what I would get. Mm-hmm. And that was just a regular, like. Oh, no, I'm not done. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not done. <laughs> From there, I would drive to McDonald's. Before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The look on your face is like, where the hell is this guy going with Lock this? eyes. And then, what? <laughs> I'm not done. So I would uh-huh. go to McDonald's. I'd get the 40 piece chicken McNuggets. Damn. That's all I would get. Two, like 220 pieces. 220 pieces. Okay. And I'm not done. Shut the fuck up. I'm not, I shit you not. I oh am not gosh. done. Okay, monetarily, we're already at like 15 bucks. Okay, yeah. keep going. Then I would go to Burger King from there. Okay. And I'd get the king size onion rings. Oh my God. Damn. And that was a meal from, then I'd go back to my apartment. But you know what? I, I kind of understand that in a sense, because at my heaviest... I used to go from place to place to get the things I liked. I wouldn't quite get that much, yeah. but it was more of like, I really like the curly fries from, from Jack in the Box. So I'll go yeah. there and get them, but I'll get my, my burger from Waterburger. Yeah. But I never like bar hopped and like, <laughs> got progressively more and more food. No, that was, that was a meal for me. That's wow. how bad it was. And then uh, I could probably do it. I can't do that now. I, oh, I no no my friends in San <laughs> not Antonio. Not a small family of four. I hope you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure what I just said. You could probably feed your whole family with that. Probably. Oh, absolutely. Um, I I don't think I'd even want to try doing that. Just but um, I know in San Antonio with my group of friends. Whenever I go up there, we have this thing. It's once a year. We, I don't. We haven't done it in a while. But when I was there, we would have this thing called Night of Gluttony, where it, it was just <laughs> all of us. We would just all pitch in. I we'd love go it. To, we'd go to different places and eat. Well, uh, get get uh, different fast food places. Yeah, mm-hmm. this was two years ago. The last time that I partook in it, I couldn't even finish like my burger. Right. Wow. Know, because I was just like, like I don't know. I think my body's just to that point where I can't eat junk food as much anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or fast food rather. But going back to what I was uh, just a few moments ago, I don't. Th- I could probably do it now, but I just feel like shit. Mm-hmm. Is eating a whole large pizza from Pizza Hut. Okay. I used to down that thing like crazy. Right. And it wasn't a problem for me. Now it's like That's, three or four slices, I'm, I'm done. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that like a, with you guys too? Um, like, could you eat a whole large pizza from Pizza Hut? Eight large, slices by myself? Yeah. No, I could not. Ab- nope, no, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, now I think it's more just like, you know, after... Because I think it's just the bread too, man. It's just like, I don't think Probably. my used to yeah. eat all that bread anymore. Jesus. But, so... Imagine eating fast food three three to four days out of the week. Every, yeah, but okay, every week. okay, okay, okay. You went up at at, at two seventy five. Mm-hmm. You left at three eighty five. Yeah. Okay, that's a hundred pound gain. Yeah. Granted, um, but it you didn't like your first meal. Your first night was not three different combos from three different places. Like, how did you progressively get to that point? What got you to that? I was just hungry. Like, it was just like, it really is a sickness where it just, I was always hungry. Like, I I was never satisfied. Like, Mm -hmm. shit, I remember going to Quiznos, getting two large subs there. Okay. And that was my meal. Like, I was... How uh, how often were you, because I know we just mentioned, like, um, like, we think we're hungrier than we are and then we order the food and i don't know if you were um like me but 
if I order too much food, I'm still going to finish it because ju- that's just the way I, I am. Because you paid yeah. for it. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Like, I can't find myself throwing away food. Yeah. I, I Did you find that you were doing that and progressively you would eat more and more and more? Yes. I would get, I would feel full, but I would still eat it. Yeah. And I was just always consuming it. And yeah. So, wow. yeah. And I, was, I, I mean, was that the first time you left home too? Yeah, it okay. was. Okay. Do you think that contributed to it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because I could get away I. I could get away with a lot, eating a lot more. Yeah, without your, your parents watching yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah I, so, I get that. And wow. then, but I think what just turned it around was, I'll never forget that moment. I went to go see Green Day live in concert in San Antonio. They were promoting their American Idiot album, okay. which, you know, shout out to Green Day. They still have an amazing concert. <laughs> have you ever seen, been to that, one of the shows? I've, I have not seen Green Day. Green Day, Foo Fighters, and Red Hot Chili Peppers are three of my favorite bands that I have not seen. Everyone else I've seen. I've seen, well, for me, I've seen the all-time greatest rock and roll band for me twice, Van Halen, both with Sammy Hagar and David Lee Roth. Nice. So I'm happy. <laughs> uh, but we, uh, we were, I was there with a friend. She had invited me to go. And then, I don't know, I think it was just one of those, I had an epiphany. I was just like, you know what? Let me try it as an experiment. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was an yeah. experiment to see how much weight I could lose. Okay. And then, sure enough, Woke up at 4.30 in the morning. I would pull my growing muscle, just lifting up my leg, trying to put my shoe on. Oh, oh my wow. God. Sitting on my futon. That's how, that's how bad I was. Jesus. So started doing started doing two miles. I would go, I would get back to my apartment, do about 100 crunches on my ab roller. Then I'd do about maybe 50 to 100 torso twists, holding a dumbbell and just twisting my, t- twisting my hips. And I did that every day. For breakfast, it was either a granola bar and orange juice or a bowl of cereal. Mm-hmm. For lunch, it was always a sandwich or tuna with one slice of cheese, one slice of ham. Nothing, no double meats or anything yeah. like that. <laughs> for dinner, and I will never forget this, it was either it w- no, it was either lean cuisines or healthy choice. Sitting in front of the TV, watching Rachel Ray cook her thirty minute meals. <laughs> what? Yeah, and I'm just there like. God, I miss this. So, I, I want that so bad. But, so you would look at, at better food while you ate the frozen, you know, healthy meals that you were eating. Yes. To help, con, con, you know, convince your mind. Like, wow. hey, I'm eating what Rachel Ray's cooking yeah. right now. God, that, Trying to trick yourself. Yeah. And it worked. I mean. Obviously. Uh, right. <laughs> it right. worked. But. Okay. What are you right now? Right now. From 385, you are now two. And Japanese woman, please. And Japanese. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am still two Japanese women, All right. but it's because of my build. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've uh, got you're, some muscles. You're a tall okay. dude. Thank you. Uh, 208. You're 208. Okay. Yeah. They took off. I had my surgery December 8th, 2014 uh, to remove excess skin and, and that liposuction also. And you would think it was a lot, but they said all together with liposuction and skin, they, only had, they had only removed five pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I thought it was more like 20 or 30. Uh, you know, I had a bet going on with friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think the highest one was a 27 pounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, I wake up. The next day, I ask the doctor once all the anesthesia is off and uh-huh. everything like that. Um, they removed about five pounds. Wow. Yeah. So. Were you a bit disappointed? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, a little bit of me was, but I was too much in pain to be like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> pounds only took me back. I was like, really? Right. But uh, it was just, I think, well, no, I know. It was a lot of dedication. It was just one of those things where I think that's where people started telling me, even all these years later, you're like, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I just get used to it. Like, Ruben, you're crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, you know. Waking up at, waking up at 4.30 running two miles and then all of a sudden you weigh yourself and you've plateaued. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, well, I still feel like I can run once I hit the two mile mark. So then it became two and a half miles. Two and a half miles became three. Three became five and so on. Yeah. And all of a sudden you start uh, adopting that slogan that Forrest Gump said, I just felt like running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you yeah. ever experience that runner's high? I did. And God, I still do. That's amazing. Uh, That's I still great. Do. Like, Kudos to, to you. Like to me, it's I love music. I wish yeah. I could have been a musician. I taught myself how to play guitar. I would watch Van Halen live concerts before YouTube was what it yeah it is now. Mm-hmm. 
my uncle, my dad's younger brother, had a VHS tape of Van Halen, one of their live concerts from 1986. Okay. I would play it, pause it, and just watch Eddie Van Halen's fingers, and I would just kind of imitate that. Wow. Right? And then I learned how to play piano, and then, because uh, I wanted to learn how to read music. So for me, I always wanted to just be like Eddie Van Halen, or just be with the be in a band. But yeah. you know, of course, school came first. So right. Yeah. I focused on all of that on my studies. So for me, it's like running is when I get to escape. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time I'm actually telling people this because I was right. like, so yeah, this is the first time I'm actually letting it all out there. I, to me, running, working out, listening to music with it playing in the background is like I'm putting on a show. Okay. Yeah. You know, whether I have nobody in, in there, that to me is my escape. Like if I'm just imagining I'm there okay. playing those. Uh, as of lately, I know it's been out for years, but the one thing that really gets me going is still listening to uh, Symphony of Metallica. Okay. Because to me, mm -hmm. I just... To me, I just think they do a fucking amazing yeah, job with, master, with master, ma master of Puppets. <laughs> right, on yeah. that. that one's amazing. Uh, Outlaw Torn. Right. So at night, since I, some of the nights that I work, uh, when I have to close, we close at 7. By the time I get home, it's 8 o'clock. I'm still pumped up to go run. Yeah. Like, and I'll run about maybe three or four miles, and people tell – I not to rub it in their face or anything but people tell me oh i'm too tired you know i work i was like oh well, you know i work a 12 13 hour shift but i still go home and run yeah and just kind of like, give them a little push uh, yeah but it's but it's like am i being a dick by saying that you know it's well, like some people need to hear that i yeah. think just to remind them that you know some, because i taught myself that i didn't have anybody pushing me i just right like yeah i just did it because i wanted to because i wanted to be healthier and live better now, there's a question I, I've been wanting to ask you, and I purposely waited t till now. Sure. Um, uh, well, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have been a, a, a fat dude all my life, too. Okay? And there's a certain, you know, unless you are a fat person, I'm not just going to say it's a man, but like a, a, a heavier person, a person who, who carries more weight. I mean, we all get there on our own. It's mm -hmm. it's our own journey to get to where we get to. Right. Um, so I'm not, this is not a, a poor me, poor me session because I'm fully aware of I am where I'm at because of my own habits. Now, my question to you is, now that you are not, quote unquote, a fat guy, are you still a fat guy up here? Like, I, believe, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Because... I think that's hard to shake, right? It is, because growing up, especially the high school years, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I mean, everybody there's got girlfriends, everybody's going on dates and things like that. I didn't right. have that. Right. You know, I didn't even get that in college either. You know, I didn't go out on dates in college or anything like that. So now, you know, let's say we're all sitting at a bar or something yeah. and like, some pretty girl came up and started talking to us and, you know, started giving me a little bit more attention in my mind. I was like, okay, why are you right. focusing yeah. on me? Yeah. You know, like what, you know, it's such a shitty thing. I, I don't know how to explain it. And actually the, there was this girl who I met uh, a couple of weeks ago. She had even asked me, I heard about your weight loss. I think it's great. It's tremendous, outstanding. Congratulations for doing that. Did you have to go through some therapy to start working that out? And I never thought about it until uh, until until she asked me. It's like right because I still do have that fat boy mentality. Yeah, or I still think I am, and it's it does kind of. I mean, it's a mind fuck. It really is. I I I can fully fully appreciate and understand that because it. I would if I. It's not like you just woke up and you were 200 pounds lighter. I mean, it took a while. But still, in that year that it took you to lose all that, I think you were just so focused on just shedding the weight yeah. that, you know, your mind didn't change. Your your, mind, your mindset on eating and, and, and exercising changed. Yeah. But the way that you perceive the world and, more importantly, the way you feel the, the world perceives you never changed. You still haven't given your chan yourself a chance to, um, to relearn, you know, mm -hmm. the way of the world now being in this new body i think it's a lot like a almost like a like a mind trans transplant you know like you've been transplanted into a new body but yet you're still the same reuben that you were for the last you know 20 years yeah because it's like i i told my parents that december 8th is when i became a new person mm -hmm. when i was when that was the day That's i had my good. surgery and i think we're coming up 12 weeks tomorrow since mm -hmm. i've had the surgery three months since i've had the surgery and even now it feels like 
<laughs> I don't feel any different or something. I right. do. I mean, I do. I mean, I put my pants on, I put my clothes on, I make gold records, and boom. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. I, was like, All right. I just thought I'd throw that in there really quick. But no, it. Um, <laughs> It's really one of those things where I still, my confidence is still kind of like, yes, it's and, not where I want. And like Ed, Mark's brother, mm-hmm. that guy's got confidence that I wish I had. Exactly. You know, I was like, man, I fucking wish I had that confidence. Really? Yes. In, in reality. And it's like, golly, man, when I, when I was that, no, I wasn't that big, but my confidence wasn't anywhere near that. And here right. I am, you know, I, I feel better. I feel good. Mm-hmm. But mindset wise, I'm just like, my confidence is just like... You know, like and that. and the the thing that that really like it it made me first think of that, and this is not meant to offend in any way. Um, both times that I've hung out with you, mm-hmm. they've been Saturday nights, yeah, and you've been at your neighbor's house at a little backyard get together instead of out plowing <laughs> half of mission <laughs> right. with this new slender body you have. Yeah. And that's because I don't think that you're quite ready to really get out there, and that's why you still feel comfortable doing you know a kind of a a quiet little backyard barbecue right because that's what you're used to and that's what what i was thinking to myself like fuck man if i if i had that new body Uh like i'd be i'd be out you know i'd I'd be out walking around in a speedo but then now that i think about it like you know what i probably wouldn't i'd probably still be doing the same shit that i'm doing now well you know it probably doesn't help that i don't i'm not much of a drinker oh you know (laughs) that you're in good company yeah i'm not much of a drinker (laughs) but hanging out with you guys I feel at home. I feel like I'm I'm at home with my friends in San Antonio because they're all geeks and nerds and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love that. You right. know, I am totally cool with just hanging out at a backyard barbecue. You know, I'd rather do that than just out drinking or you know coming across someone stupid who's going to ruin your night or something. Yeah. You know, I mean, the right. chances of that are far. What's going on, bro? Yeah. What you looking at, bro? You talking to my girl, bro? Yeah. And I'm meathead, Ruben. <laughs> What's up? No, I can't stop saying bro, bro. <laughs> but I mean, it's, I, I am totally fine with that. Like last night, this weekend I was off. You want to know what I did last night? What'd you do? I went to Best Buy. I, I, I bought me a three movie pack with uh, The World's End, Shaun of the Dead, and Hot Fuzz. Okay. Which I've seen two of those movies. I've never seen The World's End. That's the uh, Cornetto. Cornetto, yes, yeah. Cornetto trilogy. trilogy. Yeah, and I bought DC Universe's animated movie uh, Justice League War, <laughs> and that's how I spent it. I saw that movie first, and then I closed it off with the Hot Fuzz. Nice. Yeah. So and, nothing wrong with that. No, and sounds like a good night to me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it worries my parents that like you're always home, like you're going to mm-hmm. be thirty years old and you're always home. I said. Like, look, I work five, six days a week. I don't mind just staying home, not doing anything. Like, I really... And it's really, I guess at the same time, it's a testament to, like, the fact that you haven't really changed who you are just because you've lost some weight or lost the weight. No, if anything, I feel better that I can finally wear clothes like this. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But I... I didn't think that. Well, it sounds like you're not an arrogant prick, which is good. Right. (laughs) What are you trying to say, bro? (laughs) Nothing, bro, Sif. No, I I couldn't couldn't do that. And, you know, it's even one of those things where I've had time to reflect. Looking back in high school, it's just like, man, I, well, back even when I was younger, I got bullied a lot, too. Yeah. You know, and then. I know that story. Yeah. I mean, you don't. Yeah. It was one of those things, though, even when I had my first serious girlfriend two years ago. It still didn't feel right. Like it, it didn't. I didn't feel comfortable because it was like, okay, well, I feel like I've won the jackpot because she was into comp- console games, yeah, and video games in general, comics and everything. But and she was probably more attractive than you thought you could get. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I. I yeah. I know yeah. that story too. <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, we. It was one of those things where we knew each other for years and then we dated, and mm-hmm. that only lasted like three, three or four months, and now it's just like. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. it really does. That sucks. Uh, it, 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 now it's just like, well, you know, probably won't have that again. So, so I, I it's like I, I, I know this is probably just me talking now, but I'm I'm actually okay with just being single, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Because, you know, living the Bruce Wayne life. So uh-huh. kind of, you know, without Sleeping the money. in your bad bed. Yeah, without the money, though. Right. Or the car. Right. Or the suits. Or, or the suit, yeah. Or the... Women. Women. Or the gadgets. God, I, I'm depressed, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but 
I don't like when we're out there when we're at Mark's a month ago playing video games like hey that was me going out for the first time since the surgery I was so happy or yeah the fact that he invited me out to his Sorry. dude don't break that I already did no, no I did <laughs> uh, the fact that Mark invited me over to his birthday party I was like hey I know I'm gonna be in good company so it's like right that for that for me is fun because when I was living in San Antonio even though excuse me there's more to do I feel in San Antonio than there is here yeah. Mm-hmm. Going, staying in on a Saturday night, just watching. But basically, what I do here, what I would do in San Antonio, is what I do here. Or going out to my friend's place and just, we would have a game night. Okay. Where we would just buy Little Caesars pizza, microwavable pizzas or microwavable foods, and a shitload of Mountain Dew. You guys don't <laughs> tell me that that's not that doesn't sound like a good night. That sounds that's, awesome. So that's what we would do. So I am totally happy and content with that i am at home doing that another thing i would also do is where i would live i lived up a hill in one of the apartment complexes down the hill my buddy who i met he's originally from here well he's from harlingen he opened up a comic shop hey after work go home change walk down there and just hang out there I mean that was that was awesome. We just shoot the shit and just hang out. That's cool. So that 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 for me is fun. That sounds like a good time. I mean, why not be with good company than hanging out at a bar with like a bunch of strangers? Right? Well, and the one time, the one after after uh, my ex and I broke up, I had a buddy. He's like, "Come on, man, you got to go out there. Like, we got you got to get back out there. You know, get back on the saddle. It's, it'll be a lot of fun tonight. We're going." I was like, eh, "I don't know." He's like, "Come on, man." You know, just kind of egging me on. I said, yeah. I said, okay, you know what, fine. So we go out, we go bar hopping there close by where I live. And we go into this place. He told me there were lounges. Now, to me, lounges is where I'm sitting from you guys and I'm not having to yell to talk to you to have a conversation. <laughs> right. That's a, that's not a bar. Yeah. You know, that's a fucking club. <laughs> right. Well, we're not even there for five minutes. I'm leaning against the bar. All of a sudden, I feel this wet. I just feel this wetness over my left shoulder. Uh-huh. Some girl had spilled her drink on me. She's mm-hmm. like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Just like rubbing herself. <laughs> and I was like, okay, uh, honey, oh, that's okay. I was like, that's okay. So I was like, all right, fall. Well, fuck. You know, I was like, <laughs> shirt is ruined. I'm not even here for five minutes. So I'm just there, minding my own business, just having a drink. All of a sudden, you know, she's like, oh, come dance with me. Like the same girl who spilled a drink on me. She's right. like, come dance with me. And she's like, she's grabbing my hands like, oh, no, sorry. She's got care. a system. It works every time. <laughs> Apparently, well, not with me. But what really pissed me off was she started calling me like, you know, I don't know if we could say the derogatory for gay. She started calling okay. me that. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. So I just left. You know, that it was just like, that is why I was just like. That's why I don't go out. That's what's out there. <laughs> That's what's out there. Right. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Fuck this. And my buddy's trying to call me. I had my phone off. I called him back the next morning. He's like, dude, what happened? I said, dude, oh, I'm sorry, man. It's just not for me, man. And he's like, dude, I totally hooked up with this chick. <laughs> I'm fucking drunk. She spilled her drink on me first. And, oh, she called me things. But, man, I nailed her. <laughs> yeah. he- I don't know. So that's why it's like I am happy at Comic Cons. I'm happy at anime conventions. Right. And you'd be surprised at the amount of pretty girls that go there. Yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I believe it. I love nerd so, chicks. But here's the crazy thing. Okay. When I was at UTSA and I think I was a freshman or a sophomore, I was at like maybe 350. I, I For Halloween, I dressed up as Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. I don't know if okay, you guys yeah, watch yeah, anime. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. I love Cowboy Bebop. It's my all time favorite anime. Uh huh. And I say I'm an anime nerd, but I've never seen an episode of Gundam. <laughs> or uh, what else is popular? Uh, like uh, psh, Fist, Naruto. Fist of the Naruto. North Star and shit I've like that. I've never seen an episode of Fist of the North Star or Naruto. Have you seen Death Note? I love Death Note. Okay, good. Death Note it's was fucking awesome. Then you're in good company. <laughs> I saw, okay, I saw the live action movies first, which I thought were great. But then at that time I'd finished it. I, uh, the, epi- the anime series came out on Netflix. Mm-hmm. So I said, okay, let me watch it. That was the first anime that I ever saw in Japanese mm-hmm. with English subtitles. Fucking incredible. Yeah, same like, here. I thought, I was like, fuck the English dub. Because for me, that that was the one series where you can actually feel the emotion in the art and in right. like, the, the voice acting. Mm-hmm. I thought, I, so I will not watch Death Note in English. It has to be in Japanese. Yeah, same, same thing here. with Sailor Moon. Yeah. But, um, so where are we going with that? I oh, Cowboy so, Bebop. <laughs> yeah, Cowboy Bebop. 
I dressed up as Spike Spiegel yeah. at 350 pounds for Halloween. Okay. Now I won't even dress up as him now. What? Right. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> All afraid. you need is a wig. <laughs> I mean, I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to dress up as anybody now for any convention. I, I I know last year I was thinking about going to a convention dressed up as Black Mask. Okay. But I was like, no, better not. God. And that's, um, you know what? I know that feeling because I. That's what stops me from dressing up um, at Halloween because. I feel like I would look ridiculous if I dressed up as, as anything that's supposed to be typically a slender person, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. I don't want to fucking dress as the penguin every year. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, no, I mean, have you thought about the clown from the Spawn series? Actually, I've thought about the clown from uh, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. I was going to do that this year. Uh, but Captain I, I just, Spaulding? Captain Spaulding, but I just never did that. Nice. I think I could pull that you off could with pull the bald head and the beard. but. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, no, no, that's... What's I, wrong, I, kid? Don't you like clowns? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea By the way, what you're flawless about. Captain Spaulding I impression. Good. <laughs> there you go. I, uh, but it's crazy because I, I, will, I, I find myself thinking, okay, you dress up as Spike Spiegel at 350 pounds and you won't dress up as anybody now and you're like 200 pounds? Right. Like, I don't think the, you want... Maybe you just don't want to draw attention to yourself. Maybe. Maybe that, that element is, is gone because, again, you're still mentally trying to piece it together and trying to rebuild yourself as a thin person. I keep going back to that, but I think there's a, a big there's a big issue there that, yeah, that it, you still haven't worked out. I, I can't. I, well, not that I can't and not that I won't, but it's just I don't, know how to, I don't know about how to just fucking face it head on. Right. And I don't think I could do that. I mean, I'm, I'm not... I'm not as big as, as you were at your peak. At my peak, I was about 330. I think wow. that was my peak. I'm now about 275. We well, look good, man. Well, thank you. Um, in fact, we just watched a video, Mark and I, earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that, I, that we shot. Uh, 2009, I want to say? 2009. And that, that was about my heaviest, just about. And my God, I looked humongous yeah. in that. I just had this big fucking. Neck beard? Neck. Yeah, just wow. a big neck. And were uh, you looking like Louisiana back, back, like back, back? <laughs> no, 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 I, no. Like no actually, I, I, I only had a tiny Still little goatee. I'm just saying there small. was more neck skin than anything else. Oh, like, I look like John Candy, like a bald John Candy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It rest was, in peace, John Candy. yes, rest in peace, RIP. Um, but yeah, so that was my heaviest. And even now, granted, I'm not thin. Um, I'm less than I, than I was then. I still have trouble like you know uh what's the word i'm looking for adjustment yeah just shaking it just shaking that that feeling idea that you're at that i'm obese like just morbidly obese Mm -hmm. no i was morbidly obese i think you're just i mean well i guess like clinical or medical terms like you're just overweight for your age or for your height or whatever i don't know i I mean i'm shorter than you so i i think i fell in that morbidly obese uh, category well i had a well i try not to go by like bmi like body mass index studies or anything like that because they said my ideal weight is 190 for my height okay. and for me being athletic the lightest the least i've ever weighed was october no october two years ago i was doing crossfit and i was eating a lot healthier i dropped down to 190 okay but looking in the pictures you see all the loose skin yeah mm-hmm. so I was like, okay, hey, badass, I'm at 190, cool. You know, mm-hmm. I've actually felt good, but my confidence was still like, again, going back to wrapping my head around the whole thing of just being life as a thin person. Right. So I was like, okay, well, I moved back home, get up to about 220 or 230, and I could tell. I was just like, man, this does not feel right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I started losing the weight. And then I had the surgery, and here I am now. Now I'm just maintaining it. I'm eating a lot better. I'm working. I'm actually sprinting. I'm doing long distance running, maybe one day or two days out of the week, and I'm lifting weights about two or three days out of the week. Hmm. So, Kudos. I feel. I think I stuck. Well, last Sunday I weighed in at two fourteen. Yesterday, before I started my cheat day, I think yeah. I'm going to move my cheat days to Sunday rather than Saturdays <laughs> now. Uh, but I had weighed in at 208 so i had lost seven pounds in a week okay you know so i felt pretty good about that and i can yeah. tell too but right I, I think going back to like the dressing up or anything i think for me now that I, we're talking about this out and it's out in the open 
I have a feeling that maybe it'd be therapeutic for me to dress up as someone. You should totally you should, do you know, it. I like think you should dress there. up again as that Cowboy Bebop character yeah. and then compare those pictures. Yeah. Oh, and, I would cry. And just to see, like, <laughs> God, you know, God. just... I don't want to say better because that has a negative connotation that you look bad earlier. But it's just... it's You look... How much healthier you look i guess is a better yeah, way to probably put get it. like a sense of relief yeah right but i i condone everyone dressing up all the time i yeah. fucking love dressing <laughs> you love Halloween. yeah because it's it's one of those things where you go to the whether it's a comic-con or an anime convention those people don't give a shit no right you know they're just there to have fun and i remember it took me a lot of courage to go up to some people and ask if i could take a picture of them and that's what they want that's yeah what they're, they're, right. they're there for the attention they, yeah. they get shit at home or whatever they're yeah. nerds but there they're among their their friends and their, their peer, family. yeah, exactly. And they're like, "You look awesome. You're damn right, I do. Give me a hug." Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I don't know. I think it's just one of those things. Like I said, now that it's out in the open, maybe it's a therapeutic for me. Like, you know what, fucking next Comic Con you go to or anime convention, dress up as a character, just see what happens. Dude, I was right. this close to wearing my Joker costume <laughs> tr- in here. That is true. That's not a <laughs> really? joke. Yeah, just I because. Was- just because, last night we were talking and, oh. and I, I said okay we're going to record with Ruben tomorrow it's probably going to be very geek centric and he's, his first question was <laughs> should I dress up as the Joker <laughs> I, oh man I think well I'm glad I mean I thought I was coming in here prepared like because I thought we were just going to shoot the shit because I know that we were I know you had probably wanted to just you know Save this for later, but no, I'm glad. I'm glad. Like, you know, it's we're still geeking out. We're like, dude, yeah. you, Ruben, you got a fucking cosplay, man. You got <laughs> well, do I, I really think we should make this a, a two parter. Actually, maybe. Yeah, but can can you stick around for a little bit? Sure, absolutely, okay, man. Cool. Then uh, let's go ahead and wrap this week up. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> um, I, I, I had I had fun. It like, was great. Was, I had a great time. I, 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 I didn't. Like, I thought I thought we were going to talk about weight loss for like five minutes and then just you know go on. But there's more to it. There's a lot more to it. Tap into the mind of a overweight person and see what happens. Right. I mean, we're we're humans too. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> for now, I'd like to wrap this one up and 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 say thank you, Ruben, for being here. Thank you for having me. And uh, Mark, thank you very much for being here. No problem. I'm the Nightmare Slayer. That sounds I, I right. I think that's what it was, the Nightmare Slayer Rodriguez. So anyway, nice. so on behalf of all these guys, I want to thank you guys for listening again. And, uh, you know, like us on uh, Facebook. We have a new Twitter, right? We have a new Twitter. Yes. At TSU Podcast. At TSU Podcast. That's uh, that's our new Twitter handle. Yeah. So, we had uh, a, a tweet. Did, it we, was, did we send How much time do we have? Can we talk about the tweet? No. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Go at check TSU out the podcast. Yeah, go check out the, the the Twitter and all that stuff, and tweet at us. Do all the things, as Mark says. So, uh, thank you guys very much. Special thanks to our sponsor, Chico's Bail Bonds, and uh, have yourself a happy Taco Tuesday, guys. Bye. But not too many. <laughs> not too many tacos <laughs> on that Tuesday. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>